Having found the doctor's help to have been invaluable, the brigadier set out to recruit a full-time scientific advisor to unit. He approached Dr. Elizabeth Shaw, who was initially skeptical of both the offer and the idea of aliens. At the same time, he re-encountered the doctor at Ashbridge Cottage Hospital, as he was recovering from being forced to regenerate into his third incarnation and exiled to 20th century Earth by the Time Lords. With him angrily hanging up on James Stevens when he called. After he worked with UNIT to stop the Nestine Consciousness invasion of Earth, the brigadier recruited the doctor as UK UNIT's scientific advisor, with Liz Shaw acting as his assistant. He and the new doctor at first lacked the easy rapport they had enjoyed during the doctor's previous incarnation. The eighth doctor would later realize there were many times during his third incarnation's exile where he did not give the brigadier the credit he deserved, admitting he directed his frustration at being stuck in one time and space towards his friend. With the brigadier and the new doctor also coming to respect and rely on each other's strengths during times of danger. Al. The brigadier took the doctor to an investigation on an oddly situated zoo, where they were informed and shown that the more dangerous of the animals, such as panthers and lions, were acting docile and domesticated while the animals known to be personable and friendly, such as penguins and a gazelle, were acting violent and rambunctious. Discovering that these symptoms had started during a school field trip to the park, the doctor deduced that one of the students at Arkwood Private School had to be behind this. Traveling to the school, the doctor and the brigadier discovered that at least one student had already suffered the same symptoms. Soon, the entire school had been contaminated and the students prepared to attack the local town. While the brigadier and the school's headmasters tried and failed to stop the students at the school entrance, the doctor formulated a chemical antidote and cured the students, as the student behind the incident was sent to a detention center. Or simply entombing them. Shortly after the Wenli Moore incident, the brigadier answered a call for help from an old friend and colleague Colonel Heinrich Conrad, unit commander at Kriedskine Castle. Discovering that Conrad had authorized and taken part in an experiment with an extract from an alien plant, which caused previous occupants of the castle to manifest themselves, the brigadier called the doctor for assistance. After what happened on Wenli Moor, he was not sure the doctor would come, but he arrived in time, and set up a jamming device that kept the temporal attackers at bay just long enough for the unit troops to get away from the castle before it was destroyed. During the Unzel incursion, he piloted UNIT's mobile air station to escape the brainwashed UNIT soldiers with the doctor and Liz Shaw but had to crash it as part of Nicola Atta's attack. He later created a distraction to help the doctor and Liz stop the incursion. After RAF pilot Frank Perry was killed in the Easter Akorthy Stone Circle, the brigadier ordered Lt. Mike Yates to place a security cordon around it. Later, when Yates had gone missing, the doctor found him being interrogated by a group of Armidians. Yates broke free and the Armidians vanished. With the Armidians still in the local area, the brigadier ordered the Theron stone the Armidians used to draw power from igneous rock to be destroyed. The brigadier led one of three groups to find the stone circles the Armidians had teleported to. The brigadier's group killed one of the Armidians that was trying to use the stone circles to wipe out humanity. According to this account, the brigadier then recruited Yates into unit with a promotion to captain rank. The brigadier was present at space control when Recovery 7 docked with the mysterious silent Mars probe 7. When an alien signal was heard and responded to, the brigadier led his forces to the source of the transmission. He led the recovery of Recovery 7 after it returned to Earth, however his convoy was ambushed and the capsule stolen. The brigadier returned to space control to report the theft and was astonished to find the doctor had recovered it. When General Carrington claimed to have the astronauts only for them to be kidnapped, the brigadier and the doctor investigated further and discovered the Astyanors who had come back to Earth were peaceful alien ambassadors and Carrington was exploiting them in a conspiracy to unite the world against the aliens. The brigadier escaped Carrington and led an attack on space control arresting the general. The brigadier asked the doctor and Liz to lugate docks after something was growing in the water. He was chastised by DCI Denise Walker for getting involved in her investigation. He learned that there were two races of aliens, the Helt and the Grestrenor, battling for control of the Gravitar. He encountered an older Jamie McCrimmon and the second doctor were also sent to help. The brigadier and the doctor were recruited to look for the remains of a rocket in Haiti. Deciding that he needed some exposure to humanity, the brigadier had the doctor take his godson Albert on a day out to a zoo. 
On the day of Unit's Christmas party, the doctor and the brigadier argued over the doctor's electricity bills. Liz reminded the brigadier that the doctor was alone with no family on earth and the doctor later apologized. When the doctor and Liz discovered partially converted Cybermen in London, the brigadier ordered their destruction despite the doctor having established peace with them. When both the doctor and Liz had disappeared, the brigadier brought troops, including Mike Yates, with him to small marshes in Kent, where a Silurian was seen, to find them. Later, after returning to HQ, the brigadier received a report that the doctor, Sergeant Yates, a Silurian, and the missing teenager Mark Marshall had been taken aboard a stealth plane. A group of unit troops led by the brigadier followed the aircraft to the vault in Northumberland. The doctor, Liz, and Yates, along with the Silurian hybrid Tani, were rescued and the pale man's plans to conquer the world were stopped, but the pale man had escaped capture and Mark's heart gave out. Afterwards, Liz returned from the Silurian's shelter and went back to Cambridge to continue her research, and, according to this account, this is when Yates was promoted to captain. Around this time, Fiona filed for divorce. Kate later became estranged from both of her parents. The brigadier went on holiday with the doctor in the Caribbean. Whilst on a yacht they were attacked by a giant squid being controlled by Frederick Simba, who held them captive until the doctor made the sea creatures turn on him. The brigadier pursued a spy who had stolen a top-secret file from Unit HQ.